All right, folks, so this lesson is going to be all about the surface area and volume of prisms and pyramids. So I just put on the three-dimensional formula sheet from EQAO, right? And what we're going to be looking at are triangular prisms today, rectangular prisms, and the square-based pyramids. We're going to save the other one for later. So let's see, what's a rectangular prism? So that's a box, okay? Nothing too special about that one triangular prism so that's kind of like the box in that it's got like an extended side but notice how the two faces so the two bases are triangles okay we're also going to look at a square based pyramid and a really cool thing about the square based pyramid so we're just going to focus on ones that have all the same length so the base and the base they're all the same length okay we're just going to focus on those ones. And the cool thing about those is that three of them combined will give us a box. That's pretty cool. So let's do some solving. So let's see. We've got the Louvre, I don't know how to pronounce that, in Paris, France. It's a square-based pyramid. So we just have two pieces of information we need to know. We want to figure out what the surface area is, including the base. So we're going to include the floor and the walls. So let's just remember surface area is the sum of the areas of its outside surfaces. So here I've got four triangles on the outside. It's going to be our four outside triangles. So they've got, let's see, I've got a 35 meter base and I have a height of, what's the question telling me? Tw Oops, 27.8 meters. So I'm going to have four of those. So to figure out my surface area, I'm going to have to do four times the area of this triangle. Plus, I have a base, and I've been told that it's a square base pyramid. So my base is going to be 35 meters on either side. 35, 35. Nice little rectangle. So our surface area is going to be four times this area plus this area. No big deal. If we look back at our formula sheet here, let's zoom in a wee bit so we can actually see what we're, we're looking at. Where do I find this? Where do I find this? Oh, there it is. So they've got, they took the height of the triangle, they called L, because that, ex oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, aren't I? I want square base pyramid, sorry. So this one's going to be example one. So I have my square base pyramid here. I've got my four triangle lengths and I've got the height of the triangle is H. I don't have to worry about that right now because all I'm worrying about is my surface area. So let's do it. So I just need uh, B squared plus 2BS where B is my base width and S is the height of the triangle on the side. Okay, B squared plus 2BS. B squared plus 2BS. B squared plus 2BS. So area total is going to be B squared plus 2BS. So B is going to be my 35 meters. S is going to be the height of that triangle. So that's my 27.8. Plug them in and away we go. 35 squared plus 2 times 35 times 27.8. Please watch your order of operations. So 35 squared, what does that give you? 1, 2, 2, 5, plus 2 times 35 times 27.8 gives me 1946. Add those up and you get 3,171 meters squared. So my total surface area is a meter squared. Okay, next question. Where's my mouse here? So now I want to figure out the volume of this square base pyramid container to the nearest cubic centimeter. So I'm going to give you some values. What values do we need? Oh boy, I don't know. Let's go back and let's take a closer look here. So I'm dealing with another square-based pyramid. My volume now is going to be the area of my base times my height. So I can just straight up use b squared h over 3. 
Okay, remember it said three of them make uh, uh, the rectangle, so that's why I need the third. So you can either put the three underneath or you can put the one third out front, either one perfectly acceptable. So let's just do b squared h over three. b squared h over three. So our volume is gonna be b squared h over three. Now I'm following the one in the textbook here. So it tells me this side is eight centimeters and it's telling me my uh, slant height on the side here is 10 centimeters. But that's not the one I want. B is fine. This is my B, but the height I want is the whole height of the triangle. So it's the one that comes straight down is the one I need. Okay, so that height is equal to, to um, comes down from the vertex perpendicular to the base. Hmm. So what are we going to do? <gasps> oh, oh, I see. Well, what if I make my own little triangle right here? Well, that could work. Why wouldn't that work? So let's draw my blue triangle right here. And let's see what I know. So there was my H, that's the one I wanted. It was perpendicular to the base. And it's gonna, because it's a square base pyramid, it's gonna come out and that's only gonna be half of the base. So this side here is just gonna be equal to eight over two, which is four. Oh, okay. And if my hypotenuse here is 10, oh, I can solve. Oh, yeah, we just have to use Pythagoras. So let's see, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So my hypotenuse is 10. 10 squared equals h is one of my small sides plus 4 is my other small side. So let's see, that gives me 100 equals h squared plus 16. Rearrange a little bit here. I am so sorry, I keep way too many tabs open. So let's see, <laughs> minus 16, minus 16, what does that give me? 84 is equal to h squared. So let's square root both sides. So let's see, square root of 84 is 9.16. So I think we can round that 9.165. So how about we just round that to 9.2? Okay, well now I can finish. Good, let's finish. So our volume is, our base is eight. So I need eight squared times my height, which I discovered was 9.2. All of that's divided by three. So just type it in, away you go. And that should give you approximately 196. Let's look at our unit centimeters. And volume is of three dimensions. So therefore it's a cube. The dimensions, therefore, exponent is three. Let me call that cubed. So this is centimeters cubed. Okay, are we done the question yet? No, we're not actually. Because when we talk about capacity in liters, that means I want to convert my centimeters cubed into liters. Okay, let's do that. All right, so I'm going to convert centimeters cubed to liters. So I have 196 centimeters cubed. So an easy way to convert means one centimeters cubed. So I'm going to put that down on the bottom. That way they can cancel. Is the same thing as one milliliter. But I'm not done. I want to transfer those milliliters into liters. So then I have to use the fact that one liter is the same thing as 1,000 milliliters and I set it up like this so then my centimeters cancel my milliliters cancel and now I'm just left with let's see I have to do 196 times 1 times 1 okay over 1000 so 0 0.196 liters nice all right let's look at example three so again this is from the textbook I picked an image off the internet because everybody loves tall blown right right at least I do 
And the question in the textbook tells me that this side is three centimeters. This side is three centimeters. My bottom is also three centimeters. So my triangle is all three sides are three centimeters. And my total height, the question is telling me, is 12 centimeters. So the question wants to know how much material is required to make this box. So that means I'm looking for a surface area. And then I'm going to need to find my volume. So hmm, let's go back to our formula sheet. What am I looking at? So now I'm looking at a triangular prism. So this is example three down here. And to figure this out, I need to do two times the area of the base plus the area of my rectangle. So I've got, I've got three different rectangles happening over here. And if my side lengths of my triangles are all different, then I've got three different triangles. In this situation, because my side lengths are the same, I'm going to have three of the same rectangles. So I need to do two times the base because I've got a triangle there and a triangle there. And I'm going to have three triangles. So that's not too bad. Sure, let's figure it out. Let's go back. Where are we? Toblerone. There we are. So surface area is going to be equal to, um, what did we say? I have two areas of my triangles plus I've got those three rectangular sides, three area of the rectangles. My goodness. Okay. Well, how do I find the area of a triangle? So that's going to be half times base times height. How do I find the area of a rectangle? Well, that's length times width. Okay. So how does that translate to my actual picture? So the base of my triangle, so let's see, there's my triangle there. So I'm just going to redraw it over here so it's nice and big. So my base is going to be three centimeters. The height is here. Oh, I don't have that number. Oh, but I do have that each of the other side lengths are three centimeters. So I'm going to have to take this triangle and I'm going to have to chop it in half in order to get my right angle triangle. And I'm only allowed to chop it in a half like this because it's an equilateral triangle. So because this is three, this is three, and this is three centimeters, when I drop that perpendicular, it's going to split this into two halves. Okay, it doesn't always happen that way, but it will for an equilateral. Pythagorean theorem again. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So in this case, my hypotenuse is three. H I'm looking for plus the base is 1.5 squared. So that gives me nine equals H squared plus uh, 1.5 squared is 2.25. 0.25. So that means let's bring that 2.25 over to the other side. So minus 2.25 minus 2.25. 9 minus 2.25 gives me 6.75. 6.75 equals h squared. Let's square root both sides to get rid of the square. So h is going to be equal to. Two, oh boy, let's round that to 2.6 uh, centimeters. So I now have a base, good. I now have a height, good. So let's pop those in before we get lost here. Notice also that my twos can cancel out. Hey, look at that, two divided by two is one. Yes. So let's see, base was three. Height we just found is 2.6. All right, good. Triangles, we're good. Rectangles, let's see. So length and width. So the length of my triangle is going to be 12. And the width of my triangle is going to be 3. Oh, I have all my pieces. Okay. And since I've got three identical ones, again, because it's an equilateral triangle, I'm going to do 3 times 12 times 3. So let's figure this out. 3 times 2.6 gives me 7.8. Plus 3 times 12 times 3 gives me 108. Last but not least, add the two things together and you get a total surface area of 1, 1, 
5.8 centimeters squared. Centimeters squared because we're talking about an area here. Area total, maybe I should have stuck with area total because that's what your formula sheet says. Sorry. Good. All right. Now let's look for volume. Volume of a triangular prism is going to be the area of my base times my height. So the area of my triangle, oh, we already know that. Well, good. Half times base times height times this whole height here. So that's, that's, we've already given it the letter L here. So the height is like how you stretch it out. So let's see, one half times base of the triangle is three. Height of the triangle is 2.6 times this big long side here where I've stretched everything out, all that extra space in the middle becomes 12. Throw that all in your calculator. So what do I got? Three times 2.6 times 12 divided by two, 46.8. And it's in centimeters cubed because a volume is always cubed. So therefore, the surface area is 115.8 centimeters squared. And the volume is 46.8 centimeters cubed. Nice.